My name is Farmer Bob, and I'm part of the Bee family. We came into this area in 1882 and homesteaded. In the early 1900s, 1902, the Great Western Sugar Company came into this area and started to build refineries to refine sugar beets for sugar. This was a great area for sugar beets to be grown in. The German Russians who came found out that this was the same climate they had in Germany and so they could raise sugar beets in this area. So in 1905, the family started to raise sugar beets. And at that time, our sugar beet seed was multi-germed. So out of one small kernel of seed, there would be about five or six different plants coming out of that one seed. So during the spring, we would have to go through with hose and thin out our sugar beets to space them out. And the young kids would go along and they would pull by hand until there was just one sugar beet plant per seed coming out of the ground. So it was very labor intense for them to go through and pull and, and space out the beets. Then another time during the summer, they would go through with hose and just keep all the weeds down in order to keep the weeds out. Once the beets grew their leaves and got big enough, it covered the rows and shaded where the weeds did not interfere quite as badly with them. Then in October, that's when the company decided it was a good time for the beets. They came to maturity about that time and they produced the best sugar. That it was the first part of October that they started to harvest the sugar beets for the company. At that time, they went through with a sugar beet knife, which is this, and it has this hook on it. And they would go through and they would hook the beet and pull it up out of the ground. And there's the root of the sugar beet. And they would take that and, and hold it in one hand. And with the knife, they would cut off the leaves. And they would trim off the heads. And then they would take those the leaves they would put in one pile, the beets they would take over and dump in another pile. And after they made a pretty good pile of them, then they would bring the horses and the wagons along and they would use a beet fork. And the interesting thing about a beet fork, it had little round knobs on the very ends of the fork, which when they went in to scoop up the beet, it would not poke the beet or damage it and they could pick those up with the fork and then they were able to throw those up onto the wagons until they loaded up the wagons. Then they would take them to what they called a receiver station. The horses would pull the wagons and it was probably about three or four miles away and once they got there the wagons would go up on the elevated ramp and they would usually fork or tip the, the wagon in order for the beets to slide off and fill up railroad cars. Then those railroad cars would take the beets to the processing plant. And at the processing plant, the plant would take the beet, wash it, clean it all up, and uh, then they would slice it in, in small slices. They would boil it in water and the juice coming out of the uh, out of the boiling process they would run through a diffuser which would separate the water from the sugar crystals. And that's how they got the sugar crystal out of the beet sugar beet root. So that was part of the process for the company and how the sugar beet started in our area. In about 1952, they finally came out with a mechanical sugar beet harvester. The International came out with a one row sugar beet harvester that attached to a tractor in order to dig the sugar beets by machine. My father was one of the first people in the country in order to get a machine in order to harvest sugar beets. 
because he was very tired of handling this fork and having to fork the beets up onto the trucks and the wagons in order to take them to the sugar beet uh, piler station. So that's a little history about the sugar beet industry and what uh, all developed. So, and today, the modern machines, they are, they, we, we're still raising sugar beets in the area. There's only one plant that is still processing sugar and it's out of Fort Morgan, Colorado. Uh, today they have harvesters that will harvest up to eight rows of sugar beets at one time. So from the one row mechanical harvesters, now they're doing eight. And instead of small wagons and trucks, they're using semis in order to haul the beets to the piler stations and to the factories. So the industry has changed considerably. Today also the sugar beet is a, a, is a Roundup resistant to where they have a spray to spray all the weeds. So there is almost no hand labor involved in raising sugar beets anymore. It's all done with equipment and machinery. So that has made the sugar beet industry uh, quite viable and produces most of the sugar that we have on our, sugar, on our tables today for sugar.